welcome to Right to Read Virtual Classroom. Hello, children. How are you? Yes, what can you see in the screen? Yes, you can see a picture of alien, right? So, do you like to know about aliens? See, the uh, this is a poem. The name of the poem is The Alien. This poem was written by Julie Holder. You can see in the screen the picture of the poet also. Moving to today's lesson, see, mm, yes, the alien, right? So, um, the alien, the alien was as round as the moon. Five legs he had and his ears played a tune. His hair was pink and his knees were green. He was the funniest thing I'd seen. As he danced in the door of his strange spacecraft, he looked at me and laughed and laughed. J right, okay. See, I told you the name of the poem is The Alien. It is written by Julie Hold, right? Even in the book also, you have given a picture of an alien. Right, we'll see. The alien was as round as the moon, five legs he had, and his ears played a tune. His hair was pink and his knees were green. He was the funniest thing I'd seen. As he danced in the door of his strange spacecraft, he looked at me and laughed and laughed. Okay, right, we'll see what the poem is about. Right. The alien was as round as the moon. So, according to the poem, what can you say about the shape of this alien? See, was as round as the moon. You know, you have seen moon, I know, normally. As school children, you have seen moon. According to the moon, Moon also round in shape, like that way. This alien also round at shape. Five legs he had. How many legs? He's having five legs. And his ears played a tune. From the ears also, you can see, you can have a tune, right? The tune is playing from his ears. His hair was pink and his knees were green. See, what is the color of his hair? The color of his hair is pink and his knees were green. Uh, yes, knees, shall I show you from the picture dictionary what knees is? Yes, this is knees, right? Okay, his knees, the color is green. He was the funniest thing I'd seen. Okay, what do you mean by funniest? Shall we look at it from English dictionary and see what funny means? Yes. Funny means arousing or provoking laughter. An amusing film with a steady stream of pranks and pratfalls. An amusing fellow. A comic hat. A comical look of surprise. Funny stories that made everybody laugh. A very funny writer. It would have been laughable if it hadn't hurt so much, right? So, funny in the sense, if you can smile, if you can laugh for something, that is funny. Funniest thing I'd seen as he danced in the door of his strange spacecraft. What do you mean by strange? Shall we uh, look at it from this translation word in Singhala Itzamutu? We'll look at it for the Tamil version also. See? Yes, this is the word. Right? So, strange in the sense from the um, English dictionary. Strange is, it's an adjective being definitely out of the ordinary and un unexpected. Slightly odd or even a bit weird. A strange exaltation that was indefinable. Indefi uh, a strange fantastical mind, but a strange senses of humor. She has strange, 
What do you mean by strange? There are some strange characters also, like an alien, right? So what do you mean by space, uh, spacecraft? Just look at it from uh, picture dictionary, what spacecraft is. See, you can see a picture of a spacecraft, right? Okay, now he looked at me and laughed and laughed. He was laughing at the poet, right? So do you, uh, has anybody happened to uh, have a connection with an alien or something like that? Is this true characters or false characters or imaginary characters? What can you say about these pictures and aliens? Yes, these are, the, actually these are not the real world. These are imaginary characters. From them we can laugh, we can have some sort of funny things because of these characters, right? Okay, moving to the first question regarding the poem. Right. See, yes, read the poem and answer the questions. Activity 15. Okay. Although it's a very uh, similar poem, what is the poem about? Okay. Can you answer what, what, uh, what is the poem about? It's about, it's about the alien. The poem is about the alien. That's the answer for the first question. Okay. Moving to the second one, what was the shape of the alien? What can you say about the shape? See, in the poem, you can see the alien was as round as the moon. So, what can you say about the shape? Yes, the shape, of course. The shape of the alien is round. Right? Okay. Moving to third question. How many legs did he have? Can you remember how many legs? Yes. The answer is five. We'll see. Five legs he had. Okay. Yes, how many uh, how many uh, legs did he have? He has how many legs? Five legs, right? Okay, moving to the question number four. Write an adjective uh, from the poem to describe the following. What do you mean by adjective? Adjective means uh, <coughs> how you describe a noun, right? How you describe a noun, that is adjective. If you just look at it from uh, English dictionary, adjective means, see, a word that expresses an attribute of something. That is adjective, right? So, uh, then in singular terms, what do you mean by? In translation, this is the Tamil version of adjective. Rather than that, in singular, it's a, uh, see, Nama Visheshane, we call it as in singular, right? So, from the poem to describe the following, what is the first one? Hair. Hair in the sense, you know what hair is. Shall we look at it from dictionary also? Yes, picture dictionary. Hair, see the hair, right? Okay. Now, hair, from the poem, you have to uh, look at it from the poem, right? So, see, hair, what is the adjective to describe hair? And his ears played a tune. His hair was pink. What is the color of the hair? It's pink. Right? So, uh, yes. See, how, uh, what are you going to write for the space A? It's pink hair. Uh, the question number B, that is knees. What is the uh, word that describes knees? The adjective? which describe a niece, right? So, uh, which describes a niece, it's uh, here, right? So, see, niece, of course, 
His hair was pink and his knees were green. So his knees, what is the color of the knees? Green color. So moving to the questions, C. Green knees is the answer for question number B. Number C is the word is spacecraft. C from the uh, poem, yes. For spacecraft, C, strange spacecraft. That is the adjective describing the poem, right? So, C, number C, strange spacecraft. Make it a point because you have to do these things for homework, right? Okay, find a rhyming word. So, what do you mean by rhyming words? Just look at it from dictionary and see. Rhyming words in the sense. Rhyming words are uh, composed rhymes ha having corresponding sounds, especially terminal sounds. Rhymed words. Rhyming words. Here in these rhyming words, uh, make it a point. The meaning is different. But the sound systems, same sounds. That's why those are rhyming words. Green. They have given you the word green. Green rhymes with, just look at uh, from the poem. Green rhymes with. And his knees were green. He was funniest thing I'd seen. Green seen. So what is the answer? So the answer is green seen. Right. Number six. This is the last one. Write the opposite for the following words. Write the opposite for the following words. The words are uh, the opposite in the sense. What do you mean by opposites? Just look at it from English dictionary. Opposite means a word that expresses a meaning opposed to the meaning of another word. In which case, the two words are antonyms of each other. To him, the antonym of gave is depressed. Okay. The opposite in the sense, uh, not the similar, but the uh, opposing one. Laughed. Laughed. Write the opposite words. Laughed. Laughed. If you laugh, you uh, what is the opposite of laugh? Laughing. You are smiling. The opposite is frown. Frown. Frowning means you frown at somebody. Is it, is it ni nice to uh, frown at somebody? No, right? Strange. Strange in the sense? Strange in the sense? Um, it's uh, strange in the sense? I have told you in Sinhala it's Amutu, right? So, uh, strange in the sense? If I say, actually the way we are, it's normal, right? So, the answer is normal. Okay. Now, see, here of course, see, in activity, uh, see in uh, this activity, before starting the poem, uh, you can see, see, here of course, before starting the poem, there was a uh, activity 40, right? So see, it's a nice activity. See this activity 14 in your book. Guessing game is there. Do you know what guessing games are? Do you know what guessing games are? Yes, guessing games means you are guessing something, right? So see, draw a picture of you doing an action. So this is a nice activity or a game that you can do with your classmates. Okay, what are you going to do now? Draw a picture of you doing an action. So you have to draw a picture doing an action. Don't let others see it. Now you are drawing an action, but others can't see what you do. So you have to hide it somewhere and draw an action. Fold it in a half so that your friends can't see, it, can't see the best part of it. Right? So then, now show the folded pictures to the class. Folded pictures to the class, right? So you have to fold it and show the picture of it. Then you have to ask, others will guess what you will be doing this time tomorrow. Okay? It's a nice activity because drawing an action and asking what is the activity I draw. Can you guess 
it's a guessing game so guessing games are interesting games that you can have with your friends okay children today we were discussing about a poem called the alien right for homework the uh, homework number one is what you have to do make it a point when you are free just go through this poem and with the nice pronunciation go through this poem uh, okay rather than that you have the activity you have to write answers for the activity also uh, before ending up the session i think most of you now download this read to me app uh, in your smart android phones of course if you are in grade 8 make it a point to uh, aware of your friends and neighbors uh, that this app is available in your smart android phones so uh, not for grade 8 but for all the grades grades that means starting from grade 3 to 8 because here i have to mention the fact that you have this uh, what do you call student edition in this read to me app so it's very useful make it a point to have this and have a full benefit from this read to me app okay children thank you for listening and have a nice day